Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So I was told to check this out. Uh, the track's called Tisk Diversity, I believe. Uh, I have reacted to one of her videos. I was a little bit floored, surprised. I don't know. I didn't know quite how to take it. But she was good. I liked it. It just was like, what's going on? So I was told this is one that's really good. She also did a version of this on the first take. I'm going to check that out next. I love the first take. But let's start here. Let's give this a go. Let's see what we think. Let's do this. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> no, I can't read that. It's too small. All right, Mouse Man, I saw that. All right, we'll just wait a few seconds here. It's almost done. All right, we can start talking. I don't know. I shouldn't like this because her voice is very high and it's very uh, kid sounding, but I like it. <laughs> I was going to say, don't tell anybody, but this is public forum here, so there's nothing to hide. I don't know what I liked about it, though. I it's very different sounding. I like the computery stuff. I think it's kind of neat. It pushes the song forward. Because the videos are so erratic, I'm watching because I don't know what's coming next. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, it's also a little bit risque. I mean, chainsawing 
life-size mice is is a little bit risque. <laughs> so yet they show you very clearly it's paper, but nonetheless. And then the vomit deal. If you noticed in the background on the dominoes, it said vomiting or something. So I was waiting, thinking, what are they going to do here? But I think what I like about it is how unusual it is, how different it is, and how very well put together it is. Don't be, uh, don't, don't think that this is just like random stuff and it's all just weird. No, this is very thought out. There's a lot of work here. Whoever's putting all this music together knows exactly what they're doing. They're very, very good on a production level, an instrument level, and whatnot. This is high end stuff, and I think she's singing the way she is intentionally. Sort of like, I love Cyndi Lauper. I've said it in a couple of these podcasts. I think she's great. You know, she doesn't have to sing in the voice that Cyndi Lauper does, but that's just what she's known for. And I wonder if it's the same thing with this young lady. My, I suspect so. You know, you guys can tell me. You might know her catalog more than I. I am intrigued with the first take. This is so very computer generated. Are we going to have any of that in the first take, or are they going to strip it down? And then her voice, I'll be watching her sing, so we'll see. So let's jump into that, guys, and let's see how we do. Thank you ever so much. I did like this track. I look forward to seeing you all on the next one. Hey, the podcast is over. What are you still doing here? Well, while you're here, like and subscribe. Thanks.